here we now discuss about uh, experimental determination of Young's modulus of a wire means uh, Young's modulus of material of a wire for example a wire made up of copper means uh, we are going to find the Young's modulus of copper of the wire now to do this the arrangement is like this first of all we should take uh, two wires which are identical means uh, the two wires should be made up of uh, same material means uh, the wire should be made up of uh, material for which we are going to find the Young's modulus for example we are going to find the Young's modulus of copper so that the two wires should be made up of copper and the two wires identical means two wires should be made up of same material and should have uh, same length and should have same area of cross section means uh, the radius of both the wires are same now here we take two wires of uh, same material same length same radius are suspended from rigid support one of the wires is called here reference wire another wire is called experimental wire now to the both the wires we attach the bands to place the loads now with the reference wire a meter scale capital m is attached and uh, <coughs> in which we place the constant load means in the pan attached to the reference wire always we keep the constant load this load cannot be changed and uh, to the experimental wire uh, we connect uh, a pointer at its bottom at its end now this pointer is placed on a vernier scale which is connected to it now in the pan of the experimental wire we place the loads uh, means uh, the loads placed in the pan of experimental wire will be changed accordingly now this is the experimental arrangement now here we may get a doubt that why the two wires reference wire and experimental wire are made up of same material here the two wires are made up of same material because to compensate the changes in the length of the wire due to change in temperature of the room for example in the surroundings means in the room if the temperature is increased means if the temperature increased there should be increase in the length now if temperature increased both the wires should be increased by same amount means same elongation is produced why because they are made up of by same material and also initial length is same radius also same and uh, if there is decrease in temperature in the room there will be same contraction produced like this to compensate the change produced in the length of the experimental wire reference wire also made up of the same material here that is the reason why experimental and reference wire are made up of same material to compensate the change produced in the experimental wire according to the change in temperature of the room yes now let us see how does the experiment is performed to find the Young's modulus of material of wire now before going to start now first of all let us know let us uh, write the formula for Young's modulus of uh, wire that is a uh, longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain f by a by e by l or delta l by l f by a into it can be written as a l by e here what is the f here f is the applied force here applied force is the suppose mass m is present in the pan whose ma whose weight uh, mg acts down now this is the force uh, acting on the experimental wire so this f can be replaced with the uh, mg by area of cross section if the radius is a uh, smaller area of cross section is pi r square into l by e now here for the mass m suspended we, we should find the elongation produced by finding these two values uh, by substituting this formula we get the Young's modulus now m is the mass suspended here suppose we suspend a mass of some 100 grams now when 100 grams mass is suspended here and some elongation is produced the elongation produced uh, can be determined using the vernier scale arrangement how do we find the here elongation produced initially both the reference and experimental wires are given by a small load to remove the kinks uh, uh, which are present in the wire means to become both the wire straight whenever we attach a small load in the pans of both the wires uh, some elongation is produced that elongation is noted let it be e naught here e naught is the elongation produced in the experimental wire when a small load is kept uh, is placed in the pan of x reference wire and experimental wire to produce them straight to make them straight now e naught is the initial elongation now thereafter we are keeping a load of uh, some 100 grams 200 grams 500 grams or 1000 grams like that 
For example, we keep uh, 100 grams load here. Where 100 grams load is kept, uh, the experimental wire is elongated. Correspondingly, the pointer moves on the vernier scale. Now, using this main scale and vernier scale arrangement, uh, we can find the how much elongation is produced. Let that elongation is small e. Elongation is the e. Now, reading is e. Reading of the vernier scale is e. Now, how do we find the elongation produced for the particular 100 grams mass? That particular 100 grams mass elongation is e minus e naught. This is the elongation. E naught was the initial elongation whenever particular mass is kept in the experimental wire pan on and E is the total elongation after keeping the 100 grams mass. Now only for 100 grams mass elongation produced is given by the difference between uh, reading E and uh, E naught. E minus E naught is the elongation produced only for particular 100 grams mass. Now we substitute M as uh, 100 grams and here E as the elongation. Here E nothing but E minus E naught. Don't confuse here E nothing but E minus E naught. So now G is the acceleration due to gravity. Pi is the 22 by 7. And smaller is the radius of the experimental wire. Radius of the experimental wire smaller can be found using the screw gauge. And uh, L is the length of the wire that can be found using the meter scale. By substituting all the values, we find the Young's modulus of the material of given wire. We can repeat this same experiment for uh, different loads in the experimental wire also.